Hello, I'm Peter and this is Peter Smiljana Qigong. In today's video I would like to show you two things that you can do for improving your spine flexibility and um, removing any ache or any pain uh, in the spine area whether it's uh, in your neck, in your thor thoracic uh, spine or lumbar or uh, sacral uh, part of your spine so all parts of the spine can be treated this way A very known uh, qigong master with respect of course uh, bruce francis um, showed this exercise and said it is a taoist uh, way to improve the health of your spine but I also found, found this um, exercise in the other places uh, and I found it. The other thing that I also wanted to show you is derived, um, well, from two parts. Uh, actually, in uh, I don't know about China, I know that in Japan they use um, a very hard uh, pillow traditionally for your head when you go to sleep and this is very beneficial but I also found it in uh, actually I learned it in um, my craniosacral therapy training or osteopathy training where we use we use this uh, technique that is called uh, Uh, compression on the third ventricle and for our well let's say for our clients we use this uh, we take uh, two tennis balls and we put them in a sock and we put them behind the, the occipital bone like this and for five or ten minutes they need to lay down their head on this and the stagnation in the neck area in the head and also all through the spine is released but uh, as I mentioned traditionally a heart pillow is used but uh, since I don't have uh, access to this, to this traditional pillow, I, uh, well, I found something else. And I have taken the, this uh, brick made of wood and I just put it some soft cloth around, which you can then put under your neck and lay down. What this does for you, it releases the, the compression on your spinal column and whole system from the sacrum to your skull releases all the tensions and uh, for example, I won't say that something like scoliosis, some heart damages uh, in the spine area can be healed like that, but you can drastically improve your health with this. I would also say that uh, for chronic headaches this is also beneficial. For example, you're somewhere um, traveling or somewhere, I don't know, where you, you cannot find a tennis balls and uh, you don't have such a brick of wood, made of wood. You can also use your um, fists, put them behind, put them behind your uh, 
head, on your back head, like this, and stay uh, like this for a couple of minutes, and this will also release tension in your spine. Now let's go back to that exercise that I mentioned in the first part. So, what I was doing here, I was going from, from my head all the way down to my sacrum, so uh, to, to the lower part of my spine. What I was doing, I was, with my mind, I was concentrating, for example, first of on my cervical spine or my neck, then on my thoracic spine or my uh, thorax, then on the lumbar, lumbar or uh, uh, where the kidneys are, and then on my sacrum or my butt. And I was moving zigzag zigzag like 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 uh, for example like snake or like um, i was moving left and right and left and right but going up and moving down interchangeably and with this movement which needs to be soft i was releasing tensions in my spine and during that, I was also um, observing and recognizing that my uh, bending forward was getting, well, elongated and um, softened. May the chi be with you. Bye.